Welcome back, guys. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> it's uh, part 14 of the X3 Albion Prelude uh, Star Wars Reborn mod. Uh, kind of walk through. Um, and uh, so at the <laughs> at the end of the last video. I was sitting there talking about how one small detail can ruin your day and how to double check and make sure every detail's uh, taken care of, T's crossed, I's dotted, and I forgot to dot the I with the shields when I was putting those uh, ships through. I was trying to do it, I was trying to get those ships equipped because um, I wanted to at least one time on the video show you. Uh, you know what I do when I equip ships, buy ships and stuff, and the reason why having everything the ships need like in one area, so it's really really quick and easy. Um, the importance of that logistics, but uh, yeah, I forgot I forgot to have them stop at the uh, shield uh, storage stations. But anyways, I went back and uh, uh, I got them all shielded up so they're all shielded up ready to go here um, so we're all here at Kingdom's End and if you can look uh, it's probably pretty obvious why I chose this sector to have the mobile miners in um, there's plenty of rocks out there not only is plenty of rocks um, but like they use the mobile drill to break up rocks but while they're using that drill to break up the rocks, they're not mine. They're not gaining. They're not collecting any um, uh, ores. Uh, so ideally, if you can get a, a sector like this, which uh, there's a, quite a there's a, quite a few, but definitely Kingdoms in, it always sticks out in my mind. Um, well, because I think it really looks cool. It looks it's kind of a chill, relaxing. Especially with the music, because uh, with the X3 game, every sector had its own music, so you almost knew where you were with the music. But um, I don't know. Kingdoms End always stood out to me. Um, but uh, also, of course, with all the asteroids. So um, that's why I chose this one to have these guys uh, mine. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them started. Now it's been a while since I've done this, so uh, let me. I think I kind of remember the menu, but um, you go. You want to make sure, of course, they have. I'm not sure what software, but like I said in the last video, I just get it all now. Um, but let's see here. I think special. Yeah, under special, so they would need to. The special software, definitely. Uh, of course, the ore collector, the mobile mining drill, um, and the uh, they need the uh, mining scanner. But uh, let's go ahead and tell it to mine minerals. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have them start with ore because uh, I definitely will need ore. Um, if you just toggle it, if you hit enter, you can switch between the different types. Um, I'm going to have uh, them do or you can select the, the sector I'm going to have them kingdoms in here um, the amount I believe when it starts off it starts off with the max cargo hold but I could be wrong um, but let's just go with that I'll, I'll find out here sooner or later um, so special mine minerals or kingdoms within uh, that many units uh, and then you tell it where you want it to unload um, I forgot about that part I probably should have a ship here to unload on I'll probably end up buying a ship <laughs> for that task just to have them unload there uh, shoot yeah, actually, I'm just I'm going to buy a ship. I don't want to have to set up later again, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, um, <laughs> I'm back. Uh, so I 
when I was going through that, I realized I need a place for the miners to dock to unload the ore. Um, just a slight major oversight. Prepare to jump to light speed. Mm. They're getting closer. Oh yeah? Watch this. Watch what? I think we're in trouble. If I may say so, sir, I noticed earlier the hyperdrive motivator has been damaged. It's impossible to go to light speed. Punch it. Uh, so, I ended up having to buy a ship, um, bought another acclimator. Uh, now, what's nice about the acclimator, it is a TL ship, but so far, at least in the game, there may be one other one that can, I don't know yet. Um, but uh, the acclimator um, can dock uh, transport ships um, the other TLs that I've run into they can uh, cannot uh, dock transport ships they can only dock fighters so what's nice about the acclimator is uh, since I needed a ship anyway that for it to for the miners to unload their wares uh, what I did is uh, and I named it uh, just uh, mining transport. So what I'm going to do is, I originally had ten miners out here in this sector, but the acclimator can only hold five ships. So I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to have uh, teams, mining teams of five. Um, I mean, still that's you know it's five. Um, and what? Because I, I can have those five miners dock on that acclimator, and then just move around the galaxy on the acclimator. And not only that, but what I do is, like, uh, park the acclimator here, and then while the miners are out mining, and then they come back and unload there and mine, I can have my uh, uh, CLS pilots. I'm, I'm going to set one up to just constantly come out here, unload those wares, and uh, put it back in my home sector. Um, because ideally, obviously, you don't want those mining ships when it's full to go and have take the time to jump to the sector and dock and then jump back and all that while it could be mining. So uh, they can mine, just unload here real quick, and then I use that as the central point for, uh, like I said, one of my um, transport drivers to come pick that up. So... Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys going. Um, let's see. Yeah. Orders, command, special, mine minerals. And again, I'm going to have ore, kingdoms in. And what it does is, uh, it does, uh, it looks at which one, which, uh, what type that you want to mine. It knows uh, how much space each takes up, and then it automatically fills out max. The max number of units that can fit in the cargo hold there. Um, so I'm just going to leave. So like if I toggle this to something else, like silicon, you see the number's 729 because silicon is bigger. I go back to ore 1641. So I'm just going to leave it max, of course. Uh, select station to unload to. Now see. What the heck? Why won't. Well, that sucks. I want to unload there. Um, let me see. Command accepted. Where's my miner getting out? the uh <laughs> the ui off the hud uh 
So let's see here. Miner. And special. Mine. Select station. There we go. Because it was bo aborted, I couldn't select it. <laughs> I was about to get pissed off again. We have no confirmation, but we believe FN 2187 may have helped in the escape. <laughs> But, uh, all right, so I want to select the Accumator. So basically it's going to fill up. It's going to, uh, it's going to unload there and then start mining. Command accepted. Command accepted. Uh, so now. Miner. It's going to go out there and mine. Of course, there's the acclimator. And so I want to see how they do here. Um, and go ahead. So I might as well get these guys all out of here. So just move to position. That's uh, interesting. I didn't know that you would have to... Command accepted. Not have them docked to select it. Command accepted. All right, then now I can just go ahead. Special my minerals or kingdoms and select the acclimator and start. Command accepted. Go ahead. Special mine minerals. Select the acclimator and start. Command accepted. And Command accepted. ah, hit the wrong thing. Uh. Yeah. Don't Acclimator. Start Command mining. Accepted. Special. Mine minerals. There's a lot of repetitiveness in this game when you're Command talking about, uh, you know, on a grand scale of things. I don't, I don't do things just one ship at a time, obviously, as you can see, as you can tell. I mean, I do them in groups of five or ten. I've even done twenty before. Um, just depends. Uh, but, so here's all my miners here. Uh, they're all heading out there. Miner. Fleet of miners. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have, uh, when I set up, I'm just mining groups. Um, I'm just going to have a, an acclimator with a group of five of these. And that's in, in, when I find a sector like this where it's got a bunch of asteroids that are really small. So they don't, they don't have to waste time breaking it up with their mining drill. They can just collect them um, or spend more time collecting them. I'm going to uh, just go ahead and get a mining group and send it out to that sector because uh, if I can have enough of these groups to supply what I need as far as um, uh, the ore and the silicon and stuff that I need for my station or anything that I need personally then my mining stations, I can just go ahead and use those and use that to make money, make those to make, you know, sell that stuff off the NPCs and uh, increase my income rate with those. Um, so that would be nice. Man, these ships are slow. But cool. So I got that going, finally. What the heck? Oh, I keep forgetting to turn off the, uh, the UI. Um, okay. So, finally got those going. Hell, it's about time. 
and what I planned a while ago, what I wanted to show, was I've got my uh, Gazanti. Um, out here and this is the uh, transport one and if you look yeah I don't it's kind of hard to tell there I don't know if you can tell those ships that are docked there those are the Jedi ships This one is the Delta that uh, Obi-Wan would fly, and then this is the other one. It's called like ETA something. Uh, that's the one that um, Anakin would fly in. So, uh, of course, I had to get those ships. Uh, to me, those are, you know, known. It's pretty cool to see those fly around. Uh, but they're also, they're, they're pretty fast. Um, Basically, I just wanted an excuse to get one of each of these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the Delta go and map sectors. And I'm going to have the other one go and um, uh, uh, scan asteroids. Uh, so I'm just going to – that's all their job. That's the whole reason why I got them, uh, just to go ahead and do that. Now, who knows later on what I'll do. But I plan on these guys – instead of me flying around and doing everything, I want to have these guys do it. So what I want to do – Go ahead and uh, let's see. Where's my Gazanti? Landed ships, the Delta uh, command console. I think it's special. It's not special. Navigation. Map sector. Kingdoms end. Now, now what you want to do is I zoom out and I try to go in the center. Um, so, let's see here, yeah, let me see where that cursor is, yeah, so I just basically go right in the center, and then you hit enter, you see here it says uh, select position with the cursor, this is the central position, you hit enter, you input a number, Oh, I forgot to look. Shoot. Darn it. I wanted to see. Okay. So, at this at this zoom, uh, what, what this is saying is the uh, diameter is 427. Um, and what I believe that number is that you input for mapping is the radius. Because what it's going to do is it's going to continuously circle around and, and get wider and wider. Until it reaches that number that you put as far as the radius from that central point. Um, so basically, uh, if I do 250, that should be good.
Land of Chips, Delta, Orders, Command, Navigation, Map Sector, go right in the center. Flip it, go in the center. Now what it will do is, uh, like it, it will just, it's basically working on a horizontal plane and working its way out. Um, and I think, let's see here, see range to scan, this is a radius from that central point. Um, actually, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do 300. If it goes out way far, it's fine. Command, uh, I, and the reason why I'm using that delta is because it is an M4 and it can have a jump drive. So no matter where it is, I can just have it jump. So now it's going to be, uh, head out there. Delta. Raider. So you see it, it's, he it's going to head to the center and then it's going to start its circle. And while I got it out here, let me check check it out. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like I said, Obi-Wan's uh, little Jedi ship there. Heading out. Um, and then, so now, that's mapping. Uh, that's mapping sectors. Um, and I waited... Obviously, to do that, I mean, you can obviously do whatever you want. I'm let, I'm trying to show off all the options you have, so you can do whatever you want. Like I personally like, because I'm going to, because I couldn't tell that ship to map a sector. I would have to tell it to go through gates and stuff like that anyway. Um, so instead of telling it to go through every gate to get to a sector that it hasn't been exposed yet, I just I just do it myself. I just fly and and just do it. And plus, I can put the satellites down when I'm in there and I can put them down in a good spot so they're not going to get destroyed quickly and I have to replace them all the time um, so that's why I do it all myself but of course you can have NPCs do this whenever you want uh, whenever you can and whenever you want uh, so let's see Zanti uh, landed ships the ETA I want you is it special? I, don't, I keep thinking it's special Okay, so under navigation. So scan asteroids. Um, I'm going to scan all asteroids in sector. Now there's some sectors. I think like President's End may have some debris. Um, that Avarice has some debris. Um, and so uh, I, I may be able to get that on video. But I could use this to survey those debris. I've never actually done that my whole life. So I really don't know what you can get from it. Um, I have no idea, you know, what the, the outcome could be, what the reason for that is. Um, but there are, I know, debris in President's End, and I know that there's debris in Avarice. So I'll check that out, maybe get that in the video sometime. But right now, I need asteroid scanned. Uh, so scan all asteroids in sector, and, and go ahead and select the sector. And he's going to head out. And there he goes flying. Uh, that's the. Uh, it's not yellow. It looks I actually. I know. Uh, again, this mod is not the newest version, and I know uh, uh, Mikhail's done a lot with the uh, scans and added new ships and stuff like that. And I think he, I think with the Jedi ships, I think at the point where this came out, he was working on them, so they were in there, but they weren't done yet. Um, I think he's. Uh, change those up along with the s foils s foils that you can manually uh open up and, and close uh but as he goes around you'll see these asteroids start to have information see that one's got ore Yield seven, or yield two, or yield two, and those are really low. I uh, I'm trying to remember. I'm actually going to look it up before I set up a mine, but I remember being in the 60s or more as far as yield. Yield is like uh, per cycle because every factory's got a cycle. The yield determines how much ore is produced per cycle. So the higher that number, of course, the better. Um, 
And I remember thinking if it's below 30, it is not even w worth the time at all. You'll, you won't get anything, basically. Uh, but I remember I could find enough. That's why I like to scan all the asteroids to find them all. But I can scan enough to really be... I'm thinking 80s, 90s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 60s at minimum. Um, but that way, it would make it worthwhile. It would be able to mine enough ore so that it's worthwhile. The vast majority of the mines are not worthwhile of having a, a station on there. But there are some that are really, really good. So, so uh, since he went ahead and found those, uh, what I'm going, what I want to do is. tell him navigation scan asteroids scan all asteroids in sector Command and I'm just accepted. I'm just going to go down the line and I'm just going to have him keep on scanning and that's why I wanted to get that started too so I can get these scanned and then that will allow me to start putting up some uh, mining stations um, and like I said I can, I'm going to start off with those mining stations like the uh, the mobile minings, I'm gonna I'm keeping that ore to, to start to collect for my headquarters. But the mining stations, I'm going to just open those up to the NPCs to try to make some money because uh, uh, the prices that you can uh, that you can sell that at are pretty decent, and you're just getting it for free. You're mining it, you know what I mean? So there's no buying price or anything like that besides the initial cost of the mine of course um but that's all profit so that's why i was saying mines they're really really easy because actually you don't even have to place the mine itself really you could just select the asteroid you want it on and then hit enter and it just it will just place the mine obviously the mine's got to be on the asteroid so it's not like you can really mess it up the placement on those versus like a factory or a station where you can put it anywhere yeah, but, uh, you te you really can place it in the wrong spot. Like I can place it and it'd be clipping an asteroid, and basically it's going to blow up. It, it, the asteroids keep keeps uh, gnawing down on its HP, and it's going to it's going to blow up. So you you could really me mess up. Um, but with the mines, you can't. So that's why I said it was really really easy. And with the dollar amounts, shoot, you know that's uh, you can. That you can make money pretty nicely and that will help me increase my income rate because now that I'm really starting off with some expenses because um, I've got those CLS driver uh, pilots and I'm getting that I'm getting them to buy in stuff to fill up my storage stations so now I'm actually having a regular cost that I need to keep up with um, so those mining stations will help me keep up with that and still uh, increase uh, my profits. Profits. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that is that. Um, what I'm going to do is um, the next video because uh, let's see here, how much do I have? So I've got two billion seventy three seventy million, um, and the HQ player headquarters is two billion, but I want a really I want a good buffer, especially having as many traders as I have and stuff. Um, you always want to play it safe when it comes to the money, because if you slit your own throat by put, cutting it too close, and expenses that you need come pop up, like those mobile miners. I completely forgot that I, had, I needed a place to put the, the ore. Uh, so I expected that I was all ready. I went to go ahead and implement it, and I found out, oh, I need a ship. Well, the acclimator is like 25 million, let alone the uh, software and the equipment to upgrade it, the shields and guns and stuff. Um, so I always would rather wait a little bit longer to have a buffer so I don't cut myself off because if I didn't have enough money for that ship I've spent all that money on on those miners and the and the equipment and I'm stuck you know what I mean and that's the worst um, so I would I've learned the hard way many times uh, over 
Um, it's really better just to play it safe, have a buffer and have enough money uh, because your traders need money to trade. If they don't have money, that's happened before. Like uh, one of my one of the first times playing, I was playing it really close because I wanted, you know, I wanted to, to get to the next level. Because the thing about this game is there's so many layers. But in a way, because there's layers, it almost turns into a different game in a way. Because like, um, not to talk too much here, but you know, starting off, I had to send out the ships that I had to, to two sectors uh, to get the prices at stations, so I knew what the prices were in the stock, so I could start trading to make some money, because I didn't have any satellites. Um, and but now, once I got the satellite network up. I didn't need to send the ships out. I didn't need to manually send them as flying around the sectors. I already knew what the prices were, but I still had to manually trade. Uh, I manually trade until I had enough money so I can start my sector traders. And now that the sector traders and universe traders are established, I don't have to trade at all. So it's not a trading game anymore. Um, I mean, it is, but I'm saying as far as me needing to manually do every trade or I have no income, <laughs> that type of deal. Um, and then that uh, you know frees me up uh, to uh, you know build that up, build up my trading fleet uh, to the point where I can start establishing my uh, own sector with my own stations and processes and factories, um, and get like the solar power plant that produces um, you know the energy cells for my uh, uh, transports. So the transports don't have to buy energy cells anymore, so I don't have to worry about that, and so on and so forth. And that's, and I think I said it in one of the other videos what what I really like about this game because it's not like uh, games where you just level up and then you want to get to the end game or something. Um, I guess you kind of do need to want to get to the end game on this, but it's more about. I guess it's. I, I feel it's a little. It's it's still a game. It's not real life, but it's it's more. It's closer to real life in the terms of, we all want to work hard and build our way and, and get established to the point where hopefully you know who knows maybe we got our own business or whatever. But to a point where we're doing either putting forth less effort for the money we're getting or no effort for the money that we're getting, and to continue to grow and stuff like that. And that's the way this game really, the mechanics of this game really creates that and. It's really unique. Like I said, this is my favorite game because it's... I haven't really experienced that with uh, too many games. I mean, EVE is kind of close, maybe, if you played EVE. Um, and there's some other games that are, but definitely not to the depth of this. This is almost like you feel like you're, you know, a uh, 21, 22-year-old that just graduated uh, you know, college and starting your life and that you feel like you're progressing through your life getting older or whatever in this game because you're anyways i think you get the picture but that's what's so cool about this game so anyways uh, the next video what i think though what i'm going to do i always go off on tangents i'm sorry guys i'm sorry uh but i want to have a buffer so only having about 70 million after i buy that headquarters it's making me nervous that thought so what i'm going to do next video is i'm actually going to um mikhail what he did is he's made not only empire sectors and a mandalore sector uh like a home sector um but he also has um uh, coruscant um uh, also right here is uh, Tatooine. Um, now he created Bastion and Besk. These are M Imperial sectors, and there's more Imperial sectors. Uh, I'm not going to go into those yet. Uh, but also, what's really cool is I see it's right. No, oh, it's up here. No. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I believe it's Dana's Curse. When uh, south here is a gate, and it uh, goes to an unknown sector called Freedom's Reach. And what he did is he's added a gate there that goes to Cloud City, 
and I also believe it goes to Hoth. Now, I, I've been, I've seen Cloud City before, my very first playthrough, and it looks really cool. I've never went to Hoth, and I, I believe it is Hoth. Um, but through that one gate, you kind of go to a, a little, a own little island of those, uh, those three sectors there. So what I want to do next game, or next uh, uh, part, is I'm going to go and just show you those. Now, look, now they are a work in progress. There's some things that don't seem complete yet and they may be complete in the new version actually um, so if you want to go download this mod now it, it may be up to date but uh, that's why I haven't shown it yet but since I, I want to build up my money anyway a little bit more before I do the player headquarters I'm going to take that as an excuse to go ahead and uh, show off those sectors and of course you know if you just happen to run into any imps or uh, pirates I've got, I'm in an M6 now. I'm not in a transport ship trying to fight stuff. I'm in an M6. So, you know, I'll be uh, blowing some stuff up and capping ships. So, that's what I'm going to do next video. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you very much and uh, see you next time.